Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to Dixie National Forest here in southern Utah. I'm out here shooting near a very small town called Duck Creek Village. This is called Mirror Lake up here behind me. You can't actually see the lake right here, but this is a stream coming down from Mirror Lake through these aspen groves here and stuff. It's a nice rocky stream here with a cool little metal bridge going over it there. I want to try and photograph this today. So, yeah, I'm going to try and take some images of this bridge and this rocky stream coming out of Mirror Lake today. It is midday light today. Actually, something I've been trying to do with my photography more recently is actually trying to shoot more often in midday light and not trying to always rely on good golden hour light. Like I feel like I've done in the past few years, I've always tried to just shoot golden hour, which I still do shoot a lot of golden hours. I'm actually planning on shooting some golden hour later today, but I wanted to shoot some midday stuff as well. And I feel like this scene looks really nice in the middle of the day right now. Lots of nice greens with all the nice foliage here, the aspen trees, the pine trees in the background, nice blue skies and some clouds. And yeah, I just love how this stream looks going through these, uh, these rocks here. So that's what I'm going to try and take some photos of today. Woo, it's not too cold. I can feel good. I am standing in the water here in this creek because the composition I want to get of this creek with the bridge up there, I kind of need to get down lower. I want to get this little waterfall there in the kind of bottom of the frame. And yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't do it from the top of these rocks, so yeah, I took my shoes off and now, now I'm in the water. But it's not as cold as I thought. Actually, it feels pretty refreshing. Okay, I think I got the photos that I wanted to try and capture. Hopefully they turned out all right. I just really like the look of this stream and that, that bridge up there. And just being in the mountains again feels so good because I haven't been on the mountains in like months, I feel like. Anyway, I'm going to get out of this water now. This is my first visit out to the Dixie National Forest here in southern Utah. And really, I came out here because I was trying to escape the ridiculous summer heat in the desert of northern Arizona and southern Utah. It's been out 95 to 103 degrees Fahrenheit every single day down in Page, southern Utah area for the past, like, two weeks. So I came up here at Dixie National Forest. We're about 10,000 feet above sea level. And it's only about 70 degrees Fahrenheit outside today, and it's absolutely perfect, amazing weather. It is a little breezy today, but this is absolutely stunning. This here, Mirror Lake, is my first stop on this little weekend trip I'm taking up here. And absolutely awesome so far. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Cedar Breaks National Monument here in Dixie National Forest area. I drove out here after doing a bit of exploring there over by Duck Creek. Ah, less than 30 minutes, 45 minutes to get here from Duck Creek and Dixie National Forest. And this is Spectra Point Overlook here in Cedar Breaks National Monument. First time I've ever been to this National Monument. It's very high elevation. We're about 10,000 feet above sea level here, so it's one of the higher areas in this part of the state of Utah. And actually the highest point in all of Dixie National Forest, I believe, maybe, 
is that behind me? That's called Brian Head. That is at 11,300 feet. And yeah, it's a lot cooler up here. <laughs> I got up here and it was like 55 degrees Fahrenheit, which is pretty crazy compared to, I started my day in Page, Arizona today where it was about 93 degrees. It's about 40 degrees cooler here than it was where I woke up this morning. Anyway, I might save this spot to shoot for closer to the sunset. I'm gonna continue my hike. I'm hiking to a spot called the Bartizan, which is almost like a double arch here in Cedar Breaks National Monument. So I'm gonna kind of show you guys that. behind me right there is the Bartison, which is a double arch type feature here Cedar Breaks National Monument it seems to be like one of the most famous or the most well-known thing to see here in this park there's really only a couple of trails here along the main rim of Cedar Breaks here and it's very Bryce Canyon-esque similar landscape to Bryce Canyon except we're about 2,000 feet higher in elevation here than Bryce Canyon National Park but it is part of the same geological formation as Bryce Canyon National Park so it looks very similar these like pink orange cliffs with you know towers and hoodoos and windows and arches and stuff like this which make a really spectacular spot to photograph and just experience and it's really since we we're basically in the mountains here there's really cool this pine and aspen covered mountains and peaks rolling hills all in the background it's just really fantastic beautiful location Well, that was the Bartison. It's two double arch here in Cedar Breaks National Monument. I think I'm going to start heading back. So I want to try and photograph maybe Spectra Point for sometime around sunset. So I've got a couple mile hike to get back to that spot. But yeah, it was cool to check out this double arch here. It's also very windy today. So I'm just blowing all over the place. Anyway, let's head back up to Spectra Point and try that out again for some more photos. So I'm doing one final shoot here at Spectra Point. It's amazing being out here because I'm literally the only person here. I only saw one other group of hikers on this entire almost six mile round trip trail. Um, Cedar Breaks National Monument really is like a, a much smaller, much less visited Bryce Canyon National Park. It's a very similar, you know, landscape. Not nearly as large or as much to do, but still like some almost equally spectacular locations like this one here at Spectre Point and the rest of the hike really. This is very unexpected but as the sun is literally setting back here this amazing incredible scene is like kind of unfolding behind me. A thunderstorm literally just developed practically right on top of me here and it's lightly sprinkly now. I heard a lot of thunder but it came out of nowhere. It really surprised me. The wind's picking up. I just captured some images looking into that storm where the sun was setting and I think those might be some of my favorite images of the day and it's not even of the cliffs and stuff here in Cedar Break. It's literally just of the valley and the mountains back here with the sun setting through this thunderstorm and yeah what a what an amazing moment but I think I might have to head back to the car just because I'm about a mile away from the car and I don't know I don't really feel that comfortable being on a thunderstorm but that was really something really cool really special. Well, I have forgotten how unpredictable the weather can be at over 10,000 feet in the mountains in June, apparently. It is literally sleeting right now, <laughs> during a thunderstorm. I'm a mile from the car, the sun is setting, and one of the most spectacular sunsets I've seen in a long time. But it is suddenly freezing outside. There's literally ice falling from the sky in June. 
I'm hiking back to the car because the thunder made me pretty ner nervous. And now it's just freezing cold. So, yeah, I need to hike back. hope you guys enjoyed this video from the Dixie National Forest here in southern Utah and Cedar Breaks National Monument. That was an absolutely spectacular day of landscape photography I feel like up here in the mountains yesterday and that sunset with the thunderstorm and the hail and sleet and everything after um, there at Cedar Breaks National Monument was amazing. It actually started snowing after I got back to the car and I decided to drive down lower from my camp spot last night because it was a bit too cold up here. But yeah, absolutely stunning, stunning couple of days exploring Dixie National Forest here. And I love being up in the mountains and the higher elevations this our time. So definitely look to see more videos from places like this over the next few months while the weather is nice up here in the mountains. And I can escape the desert heat, the 100 degree heat down in the deserts of southern Utah. If you guys did enjoy the video, feel free to subscribe to my channel down below. If you want to support my channel, go check out my Kofi page, which is linked down in the description. My website, as well as my Instagram page, are also linked down there as well. Leave me a comment, let me know what you thought about the video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.